All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and jump into it. And we just want to see how Oshun is showing up out there. I just get this vibe, y'all. I'm just following what we're doing freestyling tonight, point blank, period. And we just want to see how Oshun is showing up in the collective, okay? Eight, eight of Cups came to us right out the gate. How is Oshun showing up in the collective? Okay, Eight of Cups. We got Four of Pentacles. Some of y'all are walking away and trying to hold on to what belongs to you, okay? Ace of Swords energy, bringing truth and clarity, okay? Y'all are walking away to are walking away to what belongs to you, bringing truth and care and clarity. Y'all are also pouring your feminine energy out over everything that you touch. Ace of Cups, we're seeing sensuality, fertility being poured out all over the things that you touch. Somebody out there is really trying to step into their feminine power. What is it exactly that you are pouring your Oshun energy all over? Over, child two of pentacles in reverse somebody is juggling something juggling something they are trying to juggle something i'm getting the vibe they're trying to rock a boat all the way to one side we see with this two of pentacles energy the high priestess somebody is the other woman in somebody's life y'all okay you are a competing wife that is the ocean energy that i'm getting you are a competing wife okay just in the sense of somebody is is you're, you're dear you're a dear to this man, but you're not the only one that's dear to him, okay? And somebody is trying to rock that boat by pouring their Oshun energy all over this man. They are pouring sensuality. They are being sweet as honey. They're doing everything they need to do. They are trying to rock this boat, okay? They are pouring every bit they have over the temperance energy. Somebody is really trying to, you might even be doing spell work, love spell work. Somebody out there is doing, you might be doing spiritual baths. You might be bathing, 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 using using all types of spiritual baths. You may be doing prayer visuals. I say a prayer visuals, y'all, I'm so crazy. Y'all may be doing all types of spiritual rituals for Oshun. You got your sunflowers out. You got your honey out. You know, you might be coming in, you know, saying your prayers to Oshun. You may be doing your Oshun chants and invocations. You're doing everything that you have to do. Somebody is trying to create a situation where the masculine that they want, two of wands, is planning to be with them, focused on be, being with them, eight of pentacles, seven of cups energy, okay? You got a daydream about this man, feminine energy from the moon, okay? And you're trying to knock this man off his feet, six of wands in reverse. Somebody out there is really going to Oshun, petitioning for a man, okay? For a masculine, trying to hold on to him, okay? Trying to hold on to him, trying to cut through all the other things he got going on. And you thinking that your sexual energy, okay? Your sensuality, okay? It looks like you got that good, good, okay? Good for you. You are hoping to... Use these tools to get this man. Look, Queen of Cups energy. You're using a lot of sexual energy. Somebody is really using their sexual energy, their Oshun sensuality, their feminine energy, their fertility energy. They are using every bit of it to try to get a man to belong to them. Somebody out there is very serious, okay, about trying to snatch this man maybe from one of his steadies. I'm getting a lot of this energy on the board tonight. This is wild. Okay. Trying to snatch this man. Okay. You see this Oshun energy coming through. Somebody is, somebody is trying to do everything they can do to make it do what they want it to do. Okay. And they going to Oshun petitioning. Okay. Somebody out there is petitioning. Somebody out there really wants a future with this masculine three of wands. They want to follow him into the future. Whoever this is, they're looking to be very submissive to this masculine. They want to follow him into his future. They're not even really trying to create a future with the masculine. They want to follow the masculine into his future. Okay? They want to follow him into his future. They're trying to almost portal from their, their dimension into his. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. They are very much focused on it. They might be doing vision board work on it. They might be writing in their journal about it. Again, petitioning to Oshun about it. Somebody is very serious about this, y'all. Okay, and yet there is still another woman in this picture who is also doing much of the same. She's also hoping to hold on to this man. Both of them are trying to hold on to this man. Okay. Both of them are trying to hold on to this man and their competing energy over him really is causing him a lot of psychic trauma. Okay, this man is experiencing a lot of psychic trauma 
the uh, chariot. He's experiencing a lot of psychic trauma and stress as a result of these two women. His two wives, basically, are competing over him. Ten of Cups energy. He wants them to be family. He wants everybody to be happy. He knows they know about each other, and he wants that to be what it is. It is very upsetting for him, all of this fighting. Seven of Wands energy, because both women are trying to stand their ground and plant their feet over him, and he does not like this, okay? One of these women is pregnant. Queen of Cups energy. I get the vibe that this is the one that we are speaking to here. Okay, that is in contact with Oshun, Queen of Cups energy. Queen of Cups energy here twice. She is pregnant. Okay, she is pregnant. And this man is, is just, he's just, this is weathering him deeply that the both of y'all are going through this. This is hurting him. The Hermit in reverse, it is making him feel completely psychically out of balance. Um, the home is falling apart for this man. By home, we mean this man's soul and this man's mind. Okay, these two women are driving him crazy. Five of Cups energy. Five of Cups energy. This is causing him such great grief. Um, this is a very peaceful man that actually just has two to three wives. All of these women are there, but these two are seriously competing with each other, okay? This is the energy that we're getting. This has become very difficult to, for him, and for him to keep his head above water, it's becoming more and more stressful, okay? Two of Wands. He's becoming more and more stressed out. He's trying to look forward and just continue to climb forward, but it's becoming stressful for him. He also is very much, he's kind of perturbed and confused and perplexed by this situation. He's kind of in a space page of pentacles where he's like considering his investment in this. Like, what have I done here? Okay. This is a very confused man. Okay. King of Swords energy. He may be an Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra. This is a very confused man, an air sign, potentially moon or sun in, um, in the air sign. And he is like, how in the hell did I get in this? He's totally confused. One of these women is a childhood sweetheart of his, Six of Cups. Um, and he's made a mess with her. She's probably, she can very well be the Queen of Cups. She's been there all the time. And things have just gone too far. Six of Swords, he's wishing he could turn back the hands of time. Six of Swords in reverse energy. Knight of Swords. This man is really on guard at this point because he's trying to emotionally and psychically guard himself because these women have driven him crazy. Um, I get the feeling that the other woman in this situation, she may also be going to a goddess or, or doing prayer work or spell work or something because this man is starting to lose it. Okay, There's so much energy being hurled at this man. He's really starting to lose his mind. Nine of Cups. The other wife is trying to stay in a space of fulfillment with this high priestess energy. She's really trying to act like she's above it all. Okay. But she is also pulling on this man psychically. Okay. She is also pulling on this man psychically. Ace of Swords. That's the absolute fact. She's also pulling on this man's psychic energy. Um, even though she tries to pretend to be innocent. So she's uh, very much working behind the scenes. She may even be doing dark magic. Um, we see the wheel. Okay, we see the wheel. This man's fate is, is being shifted right now. Okay, the direction is being shifted. Four of Pentacles is being shifted in the direction of the woman that is working with Oshun, our Queen of Cups. Four of Pentacles because she is the one that was trying to hold on to the man. He's being shifted back in her direction. Um, Four of Wands energy. He may actually legally marry this woman and set the other one free. Eight of Swords energy. Okay. He may legally marry this woman and set the other one free. Eight of Swords in reverse energy, okay? Giving her her freedom, we see Page of Wands, okay? Page of Wands energy coming through with the Knight of Cups. He sends a message of romance, okay? And marriage, justice card, okay? Marriage and romance. Now we got justice in the reverse here, though, okay? So he's sending a message of, of uh, boyfriend energy, but there is still some kind of injustice here. The injustice is that <laughs> the injustice is that there's a third wife, three of cups. But this third wife is not legally married to him. Injustice, so she has no contract with him. Um, she is the queen of swords. Um, this queen of swords will ultimately be his second wife. Um, early on, we saw that he had two or three. But this man will go through with marrying the second wife, the queen of cups that was going after him. Okay, five of wands. Um, she fought for him. Five of Wands energy. Okay. Five of Wands energy. Five of Wands energy. Okay. She fought for the King of Wands here. She fought for him. And she is, 
there is a legacy that she's trying to go for, that she's trying to get. She's gotten to the door of the legacy, but why isn't the door open? Okay, she's gotten to the door of the legacy. Seven of Pentacles, she's gotten to the door of the harvest, but Ten of Swords, what is blocking her? Okay, what is blocking her? Nine of Swords, okay, what is blocking her? She didn't did all this, y'all? Okay, there's still something stressful, though. The Magician, there's still something stressful going on here. The Magician, the Four of Cups. This man is still refusing not to let go of these other women, y'all. Queen of Wands. Okay? The fool. This man is still out here doing his big one. And this woman still experiences some tears. Five of Swords. Okay? This is very much Oshun energy, y'all. You know, just some of the things that we do know about Oshun um, and her marriage. And also being, you know, with the favorite wife. Um... You know, and there was still some some um, different things that occurred with her and, you know, death and all these different things. So there is still, as with any feminine energy, there are still certain certain sadnesses that have to be addressed. And this woman is finding that out. We still see Oshun energy as she's sitting here outside in Five of Swords. But she is the woman that this man, continues. She's, the, she's his favorite now. He continues to make offerings to her. Five of Pentacles, he literally went out in the cold for her. He blew shit up for her, okay? She becomes his absolute favorite, but still this man does his own thing, okay? We see the strength card in reverse. He is very much the dominant energy, okay? He is 100% the dominant energy, the sun card, okay? Seven of Swords, he still keeps his own thing going up under the covers. The devil energy very significant in this particular moment because we do see an angel of light but y'all know the devil is you know he still does his thing but she has him nonetheless nine of pentacles she has him they create a happy home okay page of swords page of swords okay this man is not even bothering to to really um guard his extra extra you know he got his other situations he doesn't really play it off um and that he makes a bit a bit of a spectacle king of pentacles but he brings his money home page of cups and reverse he treats her with maturity he's not sitting up giving her the immature route and the offering that she wanted from him the lovers there the offering that she wanted from him ten of wands it was a heavy load for him to bear okay Four of Swords, but he's quietly bearing it at this point. He's there with her. That's what she wanted, the star. So she has him the way she wants him. But there is still there is still some questions lurking with this man, and there always will be. Um, the, the energy that she used, the Oshun energy that she used, does reshuffle the deck, and it does give her the positioning that she wanted to have. But this man, this masculine is still who he is. And maybe she just didn't, uh, she didn't really realize that. So, uh, but that is how Oshun energy is showing up in somebody's life, y'all. Somebody is about to get the man that they want. Yes, he will be devoted. He will bring his money home. You will be number one. Everyone will understand. But this man is a man who has, who carries with him multiple wives. He seems like a kind of sensitive man. But uh, nonetheless, he does. He is kind of like a polyamorous guy. So, you get the man, but the man comes with man shit. <laughs> oh, that reading was something else. Um, so, yeah, that is how Oshun is showing up in the life of our Queen of Cups here today. If you enjoyed this Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, please be sure to like, to share, to subscribe, to comment. Because I'm sure y'all going to have a lot to say. If somebody says something about Oshun, y'all you shouldn't even say, you shouldn't even, Oshun wouldn't even wear a dress like that. And I'd be like, I didn't even say she had a dress at all. But you know, people get so sensitive about the, the goddess mother, her name being mentioned at all. All praise to Oshun. So go ahead, y'all. And I will see y'all in the next one.